What's up? It's your boy, Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with my boy. 10K Tato, man. Y'all know what's up. And I'm with my twin scam. My bro twin with me, man. Niggas don't wanna pop out with that gang, cause they know we coming. Fuck nigga better not talk down on my name, cause he ain't on no. Switch, switch on the clock, nigga ain't no run. Can't switch on the gang, bitch. I can't find. We can go get the bang, bitch. Let's talk now. Little bro got the rifle on him like a hunter. You know what I'm saying? Uh... You say, what's his name again? Scam. Scam. Okay, so goddamn, what y'all, you know what I'm saying, what y'all doing today, what y'all do today, you know what I'm saying, just give me a little brief little rundown of what happened today. Man, getting to the racks. Nah, but uh, shit, really today I had went to the little stool shit, went and checked out some shit, you know, today, today was a little slight day, Monday, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Cool All shit. Right. He said, shit, just another day, you know what I'm saying, another day, another dollar, you know what I'm saying, what you do today? Shit, you know, I just came back from out of town, you know what I'm saying? I was, I just beat the road, you know what I'm saying? Came back yeah. with some wrecks. You know? I feel that, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? So, my boy 10K Tato, you know what I'm saying? Where did you get that name from? Ooh, that's a, that's a good one, Twin. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, really, Tato, you know, that's always been my name or whatever, but when I had first started rapping, uh, my boys, they had like a little group. It was called 10K. Right. And, uh... Shit, I was doing my own thing at first, but shit, them niggas seen me. I was doing shit, and I didn't even really know my homies made music and shit, but I had got in their little group, and shit, the 10K kind of just came with the name, 10K Tato, but they stopped making music, man. I was the only one that really stuck with the name, for real, so they really gave it to me on some shit. Like, they just gave me the whole name, for real. So, he basically said, like, he just kept that shit going, you know what I'm saying? Pay pay homage to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boys, for sure. Nah, for sure. Yeah, they know what they did, so, you know what I'm saying? Where are you originally from, or, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm really I'm really from Louisiana, but... What shit, part? I'm from Monroe. Monroe, Louisiana, 318. You know okay. what I'm saying? But, shit, I done been in Texas most of my life now, so really, I'm a Louisiana ex and all some <laughs> shit. The boy say he a crossbreed. You feel me? Nah, no bullshit. Yeah, shit, I got some family out and got down Donaldsonville... Uh, yeah, yeah, right there in Donaldsonville. I got some cousins in New Orleans and shit. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm about to say that's down south. Yeah, but goddamn, uh, what inspired you? You know what I'm saying to make music? You know what I'm saying? What inspired you? You know what I'm saying? What was the first thing that was like, damn, this made me really want to, you know, make music, record music? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, it was my little brother, bro. My little brother really wanted this shit bad. He locked up right now. Free little mo, man. Uh, really him. I ain't gonna lie, seeing my little brother do that shit made me wanna rap. Cause I was just like, damn, these niggas really doing this shit. So yeah. I picked it up. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, so like you basically was like just seeing him just, you know, make his moves and it was like yeah. inspired you. He ain't really he ain't really get as far as he really could, but you know what I'm saying? Shit happened. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Definitely had me. He the reason why I'm locked in for sure. Would you uh say that uh you know what I'm saying? Did he inspire like any type of like your sound, or would you just saying just him doing his work? You know what I'm saying? Showing his work ethic, moving towards his uh, creative journey. Yeah, I I can say I got some of his style too, type shit. But really, just him working for real. Yeah, hell yeah. So who would you say that you know what I'm saying inspired inspired you like musically like that? You know what I'm saying? Deeper into the music. You know what I'm saying? Who like? Mm. It's a lot of it's a lot, but name your top three. Top three? Shit, I say like RX Poppy for sure. I ain't gonna lie, he probably got some shit. Nah, that nigga hard. I'm not gonna lie. Uh RP my nigga J Mar, but J Mar for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Even though we we it was some other shit, but I like I taught him how to do the shit, but he had me on some shit to like we was finding our own flow together on some shit. Him I say, damn, probably like, I don't know, bro. I say like Q or something, Q the Fool or something like that. Q the Fool, yeah. Hey, yeah. low-key people sleep on Q the Fool, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because yeah, I ain't going to lie him. That's why shooters. I a lot of my, oh, and I can't leave out. I got. I can't forget this because this is real facts. I ain't going to lie. Zan Man too, bro. Zan Man, as much as people don't want to say, like, I can admit that shit. Like, I, when I heard this nigga music, it made me kind of rap different. Can't even count. Like, just a little bit. I was just like, it, it made me change from, like, one of the right shit to just punching in. Because, like, that, like, when I first heard the punch-ins and shit, like, that shit just, 
know. It's the truest form, uh, truest thought right then and there. It's not like yeah. hella calculated. It's just like, this is how I feel. Nah, facts. No cap. No cap. Uh, so who would your, you know what I'm saying, feature? Who Who's that big feature that you're looking to get? You know what I'm saying? It's like dream feature, dream collab. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I have to be like Chief Key for some Sosa for show, or like uh damn. Shit, I say Sosa or like fucking RX or somebody, cause well that's gonna come soon anyway. But yeah. In due probably, time. Yeah, I say probably like I'd be geeked up for Sosa, yeah. Sosa for show. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of people have like uh, top videographers, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, some people got like Cole Bennett, you know what I'm saying? It's dot com, Nirvana. Who do you, you know what I'm saying? Who do you think like mm, would be like if you could get, video. like if you could get the Chief Key feature and this video with directed by such and such, who would it be by? It's, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Probably Cole. Can't count. Cole Bennett, fam. He, that nigga is that nigga Cole. He's creative. He's creative. Crazy. Yeah, he be thinking outside the box, you know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of music videos. I'm like, damn, how the fuck they do this? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Nah, bro, creative for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you think, like, uh, when you moved to Louisiana, I mean, from Louisiana to Texas, was it a culture shock or is it just always the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, vibes. It was, it's different for sure. It's different for sure. Yeah, it's Louisiana kind of more like, Country, family orientated type shit. They really everybody know everybody out here is big as fuck. Like Texas, you you can get lost. Yeah, this shit spaced out. I'm not gonna lie. Like when nigga told me like El Paso, like another like ten some hours plus hours. I was like, what the fuck? Bro, you can get to the top and bottom of Louisiana in probably like ten hours, eight hours. Like Texas, nigga, this hoe's big. But at the same time, this hoe's small. At the same time, like I say, like when I say small, I mean like in. It ain't small like the country, like Louisiana. Everybody know everybody for real. When I say like country, they know your mommy and daddy, yeah, cousins. You know, know what I'm saying? Roots. Texas out here, everybody know everybody just from seeing them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man, like, passing by. You feel me? Like on the internet or some shit. We, we we worked or we went to the same shit. Yeah, facts. That yeah, facts. That's how that shit really started. You know what I'm saying? Is there any artists, uh, you know, now that you're looking at in the DFW area that you think like, damn, nigga, like. Got to work on something, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like they doing their shit right yeah, now? Yeah, that you think, like, just popping right now, that you uh, like to work with? Definitely, definitely, you already know, I'm going to say the money, boys. Definitely Zoe and Montana, them niggas doing their shit right now, no cap. Them niggas hella motivation for a nigga right now, because <laughs> you see what a team do, you know what I'm saying? That's all they really showing niggas, like, oh, yeah, and then I like that they fuck, like, Fuck all that plan, both sides, shit, yada, yada. I like that they fuck with both sides. You know what I'm saying? They not choosing a the side. They really trying to get everybody to start fucking with each other again, which is smart. That's the smartest thing to do. But, yeah, them niggas definitely got it right now. Yeah, because a lot of people, are, I, I do a lot of these interviews, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, when I went back home, excuse me, but when I went back home, niggas basically saying the same thing, like, uh, the underground and people just working together. It's not happening, but it needs to happen because it just makes shit an easier pipeline. Like, Atlanta has shown, like, constantly. uh, I mean, if there's any other places, I can't really think of too many other places. But Atlanta, they'll, like, preview a nigga for, like, four years. You seen this nigga four years ago in the Gucci video, and then now he he booming. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of foreshadow a lot of shit for us. Um, I think that definitely the DFW area is on... Like Some the stuff. highest, but I'm saying y'all on the like the come up, like as a nigga from Georgia, as a nigga that used to be in Atlanta a lot. This shit is a new hub, bruh. Niggas gotta got them, just take advantage of it and like he said, work together. Them niggas showing y'all like what teamwork look like, so nah, keep doing that shit. Hell yeah. But you already know how it be. Motherfuckers just crabs in the bucket. Yeah, facts. It's crabs in the bucket, literally. Yeah, that shit everywhere. I, I I be trying to tell the people. I be like, they be like, nigga, if I could just move out to a bigger city, I said, well, shit, you just gonna have bigger crabs, nigga. Like, yeah, that's what it is. But niggas I'm gonna, gonna lie. like, thing is, bro, you gotta move around because niggas gonna show you more love when you from out of town. Now nah, that's regardless. fast. It don't matter where you from. Like that's fast. It's just the it's just the fact that you willing to travel for this shit. Niggas will see that. And they'll do shit for you. It's really? like you investing in yourself by investing in your time. You know what I'm saying? To travel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Because, yeah. shit, I'm not from here either, shit. Nigga from Georgia, you know what I'm saying? He from yeah, Louisiana. Yeah. Hey, nah, for real. Hey, you I'm gotta get this it. nigga for coming out here. You, you gotta, you gotta get up off your ass. 
for sure, and you know what I'm saying, go for your dreams, cause shit. What was your first thing, um, first first job, like dream job you wanted to have when you was a little kid? Before rap, before anything, what was the thing that you was like, this is what I want to be when I grow up? Man, every black nigga shit, football player or something. That was really <laughs> it. Oh, God. A motherfucking Gucci man or something like that. I was, oh, God. I was a different little kid. Like, shit, my people grew up, they was on some other shit, so... I was looking up to like trap niggas and shit, but at the same time I was a sports nigga too. Don't yeah. get me wrong, you know. Did you play? Oh, you know I'm a football player. Shit, I ain't really played basketball. I probably played like one time. I think that was in seventh grade. But otherwise, hell nah. I was more football player. What position did you play in football? Oh yeah, I was running back and safety. The last year I played football, I was a safety. And you played uh, during all the way to high school. Uh, I stopped in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Some odd ass reason. He said, "Shit, I had to cut it." You know what I'm saying? When did you start making music? Then you know what I'm saying? When that? When did that kick in? Uh, it was like eleventh grade, twelfth grade, some shit like that. Yeah, I want to say like twelfth, eleventh or the twelfth grade. Oh God, that's really when like shit started really coming around. We really found out like what music, like how to record, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Took a little minute. Niggas was using audacity. Nah, that's you know what I'm saying? Ass, Niggas came off. Yeah, that shit ass as fuck. <laughs> that's how you know? we recorded our first song, guys. You know what I'm saying? That's how I came up. So, yeah. yeah. But, nah, yeah, that was really Shit, it. you know what I'm saying? How would you describe, um, you know what I'm saying, high school, which you record music, you know what I'm saying, during that time? Did you, were you like showing people? Were you going to parties, trying to preview it, or like, hell you know what I'm saying? Boy, hell yeah, nigga. That's how my shit even blew up, for real. <laughs> like, I dropped that shit on SoundCloud. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drop my first song. Niggas at school was fucking with it. Yeah. Nigga, I remember uh, I made a song with this nigga, uh, this nigga King, ugly ass, but we had the song called Sticks. Like, right. We ain't even dropped the song yet, but we was just playing it at parties, and bro, I still got video on my phone. Like, all type of shit, nigga. We was having a house party, nigga. Them niggas telling us keep playing that bitch back to back to back. I'm just Little like, banger. nigga, what? Song wasn't even out yet. But when the song came out, the song still did good and shit. Like, back then, like, 10,000 plays was a lot to us. Because, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, we would get 1,000 plays or something mm-hmm. shit like that. And these are our first songs. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? These are, like, my first ever songs I made. I'm not knowing how to make beats, engineer, none of that shit mm-hmm. yet. So, so you make your own beats too? Yeah, hell yeah. Now, yeah. Shit, yeah, so y'all tap in. My boy 10K Tato, he got the beats, man. Y'all tap in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is there any weird stories that you have of like, you know what I'm saying? I know I've had some people that gave me some weird stories, but like during your journey of traveling, making music or, you know what I'm saying, anything weird pop off that you just like, damn, crazy fan, some shit like that. Weirdo X, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy, you know what I'm saying? With the music. Mm. Hold on, elaborate. What you mean? What you mean? So, like, okay, so, like, let's create some crazy shit. Not weird, but, like, some crazy, you know what I'm saying? That nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the crazy shit like a fan did before? Yeah, to some shit like that. Mm. Type shit. I don't... I don't know. It, it really like nothing ain't really too crazy to he me. Said, Cause I just be like, he just be rolling with the. With I just laugh the at him or I just be like, what the fuck? But um, I'm trying to think, bro. I say one night we was uh, I don't know. I think the nigga was just too crunk type shit. But bro, that was a uh, bro. We was at the show. I I think I don't know if I was performing or not. But man, long story short, nigga stripped down to his drawers in the like in the middle of the motherfucking. Right, like what you call this shit? The rager, the rage, whatever. When mosh niggas pit. mosh pit, the mosh pit. Yeah, hey, nigga niggas was tweaking. Tripping. Nigga yeah. was tweaking. I'm like, damn. I'm like, it's not that serious, gang. But like, yeah, bro, was tweaked out for real. That's why. That's probably like the craziest shit. That I shit was why you was performing or some shit. Yeah, and then like, I say another time, like at the green. I don't know, everybody. If you perform, you got to know what the green elephant is. But exactly, like, man. I done seen niggas, bro, i never forget, I seen a nigga swing, niggas was swinging on the little thing, that nigga must have fell, but like, he, he niggas was like, he fell on people, like, you know what I'm saying, that shit was crazy, cause that I ain't nigga ever seen just like, fall on some niggas, and niggas boom. just, boom, like, it's different when you crowd surfing, niggas expecting to catch exactly. you, but like, when you just fall straight on a nigga neck, like, I was just like, damn, niggas is wilding, like, you know what I'm saying, but... Niggas be off them beans tripping. <laughs> nah, that's not God. <laughs> oh, God. Niggas just be hanging from the roof in that bitch. Everything, nigga going crazy. Like, I just been seeing niggas do extra ass shit. That's really all it is. But 
far as weird shit, oh yeah, niggas definitely be dick riding for sure. So yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I know like people, you know, you start making music, you start making ways for yourself. Yeah, people probably pop up. You know what I'm saying? At weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What would you give advice to another artist that's also making ways? Um, how to goddamn deal with the weirdos that come after the success? Mm, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just be cool. That's how I, all I can say. Cause you, the more weird you be to a niggas, niggas acting like you just too good, and that just caused like a negative effect on you. Like nigga, riff. you know what I'm saying? I'd rather nigga be like, oh yeah, I saw Tato today. That nigga, that nigga uh, took a picture with me or signed some shit or you know what I'm saying? Show him, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather some positive feedback than a nigga be like, oh yeah, I see that nigga. He was acting like a bitch. Nigga didn't want to talk, but at the same time, don't. Don't let niggas override your, your privacy, you feel me? Don't let niggas get too, too close, you feel me? Because niggas do be on bullshit, but I still, you know what I'm saying? I still say what's up. Niggas be cool. I see niggas I know all the time. You know what I'm saying? They ask me about the rap shit or niggas just be like, how you doing? Sometimes niggas just be like, damn, bro, you acting different. But it ain't, I'm not acting different. We just not in a different same, type of time. You feel me? Yeah. We just not in the same place no more, nigga. Yeah. That's really it. Niggas be still thinking shit from goddamn we in the sandbox, some shit. Nah, for real. School and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Also, another uh, artist advice. Um, creative block, you know what I'm saying? I, I talked to one guy. He said, um, if you have writer's block, you know what I'm saying, just go outside, go live life. What would you say? Yeah, you bro. Agree with that? Honestly, I don't see how you're a rapper if you ain't doing shit, to be honest. That means you're rapping about fairy tales. You ain't rapping about shit, bro. Like, you got to do something. Got to be outside. To rap about something. Like, for real, you got to have some money. You got to be doing something, nigga. I don't care if you work a job, nigga. Every day you get out the car, nigga, that's something to rap about. You getting a check. You know what I'm saying? Don't Every let day. these niggas fool you, gang. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You got to you gotta goddamn be outside. You got to be networking, man. You know what I'm saying? You got any uh, new music, new videos, you know what I'm saying, that we can go watch right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I actually just dropped a new video of my boy Whoop. He was supposed to come to the interview, too. I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, give him a little cameo time, but... <laughs> Nah, yeah, I just dropped some shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I got another single finna drop this week too, so shit. Go be looking for it on Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? Are you performing anywhere soon? Uh uh I, uh September twenty sixth. Oh god. Uh I'll send you the flyer and shit. You okay. can put it up on the screen. Yeah. But yeah, September twenty sixth, we throwing like an event. Really I got two events that night. Mm-hmm. Uh I got the uh shit with Are You on the Map and then uh uh the rap economics shit. That shit uh they, they both on the 26th, so. We Boy, gonna be, be busy. At, yeah, we're gonna be at both. I'm basically gonna be performing twice on some shit, but. Yeah. Same day, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Same day, hell yeah. Well, goddamn, you wanna give a shout out to anybody out there, you know what I'm saying, watching, you know what I'm saying, who's gonna be viewing this, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Shout out the gang. Nah, for real. Shout out, uh, whoop, your bitch ass ain't come. <laughs> shout out, uh, Draco, my nigga, uh, Fetty, goddamn. Ugly ass Jalen, fold two money, ugly. Uh, P, shout out Prince, you know what I'm saying? EG, shout out the whole EG. Fucking, I got scam with me. Uh, money man Marcus, you know what I'm saying? Unknown society, y'all go fuck with them too. Uh, shit, man, that's really it for right now. That's all I can think of right now. If yeah. I miss you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no hard feelings, you know you're my nigga, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I just can't think right now. Yeah, nigga, for well, well, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We're going to close it out right here, man. It's nice to meet my boy 10K Tato, you know what I'm saying? And my Appreciate boy Scam, you. my boy, you know what I'm saying? He just be chilling over there, man. Hey, check him out. He going to have some drip on. Y'all ever see him in person? He going to have some drip drip on, you know what I'm saying? They both got the drip on. If I could zoom down, you see the bait, you know what I'm saying? But we going to sign out. It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool. Peace.